On the bench in front of me here, we have a four-way multiple LMB holder. Um, it's suitable to be used with um, a, a smart 110 centimeter uh, satellite dish and some other dishes. Uh, the dependent factor is the width of the arm. This is the uh, this is the little um, fixture that we use for con connecting this um, LMB holder onto a satellite dish. So this is specifically designed for the smart dish, but some other dishes may be compatible with it. Um, so basically the idea of why would we ever use a four-way LMB holder? Well, first of all, to explain, it's not an alternative to a quad LMB. If you want to run the same signal to four satellite receivers, always simply use a quad LMB. It's much simpler and cheaper to do it that way. Uh, with this particular setup, what we're trying to do is we, we have the option of picking up signal from up, up to four different satellites with a single satellite dish. Uh, and running them normally into something like a DISEC switch, so we see it in front of me here, which will have maybe four feeds in from LMB 1, 2, 3 and 4, and run a single feed out to a DISEC enabled satellite receiver. And what can we can do then is, uh, we can have uh, we can switch between the four satellite receivers seamlessly. So the big advantage, of course, of it is you don't need a motorized system and you don't need multiple dishes, and you can pull in uh, the various channels onto a single box. Um, now, just to give a, um, a, a, a quick um, oh, um, a quick overview of actually installing one of these, what I have in front of me here is two sample satellite dishes. So on the right hand side we have a smart um, 80 centimeter satellite dish. It has, we'll say, a two uh, way LMB holder and there's a three way version of this. So what we can do here is we can actually just mount an LMB, a second LMB here and indeed a third one here and put, pick them all up. Uh, the more LMBs we mount, it probably becomes less and less attractive to, to have the whole weight of the LMBs being mounted off the LMB itself. So this is why they have this particular design here. So this is, in, in a typical circumstance then, this is a 110 centimeter smart satellite dish. And in ordinary circumstances, we simply have uh, the arm coming out from the dish and we have a holder here for the LMB, which simply holds the LMB in position. Uh, what, what I'm gonna do on this particular thing is I'm going to pull off this LMB holder simply going to mount this LMB directly in like this okay so that, that's how it will slide in so we slide in the thing like this you sometimes might need a small tap of a hammer in this particular case it's slid in quite uh, neatly and what we do is we simply push a bolt across and screw it into the far side and this lets us hold the LMB holder securely in position now the only tool that's not provided with this that we might possibly need would be a Phillips screwdriver. So I have a Phillips screwdriver here and what I'm actually going to do is I'm simply going to uh, pick one of these LMB holders here. I'll pick the one on the extreme outside here. What I'll do is I'll simply loosen off the nuts here. Now because this has quite long bolts on it, I, I found uh, um, it's quite advantageous because you don't need to take off both bolts. You can simply unscrew one bolt here as long as the other bolt is quite loosened off. And what we can do then is we can um, we can simply take a, a, a single LMB, or in this case, I'm actually just going to take a, a, a four-way LMB. We run a cable in here, and what we do now is we come along. We just put this bolt back through. Uh, we run a nut underneath, which we've done now. In retrospect, here. Uh, it probably would be advisable to do this assembly with the adding on the LMBs and all the rest of it before you're working off a dish, particularly if you're doing all this work on top of the ladder. Uh, probably the, the advantages of having as much assembly work done before we go up on, onto high level uh, is probably quite obvious to everybody. So we just screw this in here. So this will allow us to lock this into position now. That's it, that's the LMB there. It's locked quite tightly on that side. And we'll just repeat the process on the LMB holder on the far side and lock this LMB in. Now, we may, may make a decision that the LMBs are not quite exactly at the orientation that we're hoping for. So what we have here then is, we have a holder here um, at the front uh, we have a holder at the back that we can adjust the height of the LMB. So we can twist this here, we can actually slide this arm up and down. But in general, uh, we probably want it more or less on a straight line. And on the front we have an adjustment here, which I'll just show you here. And we use exactly the same Allen key here to loosen off this attachment. And this will allow us to um, 
slide this um, uh, LMB holder down along the arm to a new location. So I'll just loosen it out a little bit more. So we slide it out to here, and then we can simply use this to lock it into position again. So that's it. Um, so we can repeat the process uh, for the LMBs on the far side. So that would be it. So we would simply line up the LMBs to whatever angle we want, and then uh, we would use a satellite meter and we would align each of the LMBs in turn um, uh, to the various different satellites that we want. And we take a cable off each one of them, as I indicated earlier, run it to a Dizek switch and do it. So it's up to yourself. You can use this for. Um, Obviously, you'd only use this if you're going to use one, more than one LMB, but it gives you an option of uh, two, three, or four LMBs off a single satellite dish. So um, hopefully that you've gotten a good understanding of how and why you'd use this um, particular um, LMB holder and the, the basic installation steps on it.